script is being finalized for the upcoming animation, Bass of the Blue, part of the video production group, AVW Productions, also simply known as AVW. AVW produces many shows, but Bass of the Blue is one of their more recent additions. After meeting this past Monday, producer Matthew Lunn believes that it will be completed within the next couple days. Their team has constantly revised the script over the course of the last three weeks, and now it will be presented to the AVW executive board. Once we show this to our animators and get our head editor to review it one last time, we'll be ready. There have been a lot of obstacles, but we've gotten through each of them. Technology allows this animation to exist, but it can also cause major problems during development as well. Lead animator Tristan Wayne has worked on this project since it started in March, so he knows the limitations of digital animation. Recently, our special effects folder has been locked on the AVW servers. Until someone on the executive board helps us, it is impossible to access those files we need. There are many factors that could hinder the progress of a digital animation project. Since it requires a computer and technology in general, a power outage or glitch in the servers can halt productivity. Traditional animation needs some light, a pencil, and lots of paper. This is not to say it is without its own problems, but the process does not rely completely on technology. The necessity for reliable equipment became a major problem in the production of Bass of the Blue, as Gretchen Snyder learned while working on voice acting auditions as the casting director. Um, during the auditions, we recorded everyone auditioning so we could go back and listen when we made our decisions, but we ran into an SD card error that completely ruined all of our files, so we had to do another round of auditions and try our best to remember the voices of people who couldn't make it to the second round. While there are some issues that digital animators must overcome, those in the business of animation have realized all of the advantages of going digital as well. The Walt Disney Company, more commonly known as Disney, laid off their hand-drawn animation staff in April. Disney wants to embrace new technologies and these layoffs were not a surprise. Jeff Heimbutch, a writer for Mice Chat, understands their business strategies. Mice Chat is a website that posts about events and news among Disney. With new digital technology being able to take the place of some of these folks, Heimbutch began, it makes perfectly good business sense to trim the fat so to speak. These are not the first layoffs of this kind at Disney, however. In order to save money, Disney will hire animators for a project and then let them go after it is completed. They did this with Princess and the Frog, and it's a trend that Heimbutch has noticed, along with the box office numbers. The Princess and the Frog grossed under 300 million worldwide, Heimbutch stated. Tangled grossed almost twice that. The numbers don't lie. While both are time-consuming and costly, the returns on a CGI film vastly outweigh those of a traditionally hand-drawn animation feature. Not everyone is happy with this change in the animation world, though. Jeremy Zajac, undergraduate at High University, has some complaints with this transition to digital. Digital animators can get lazy. Unlike traditional animation, digital animators can reuse models very easily, and it's pretty noticeable. That's not to say that uh, traditional animation can't do the same, but unfortunately it's almost like the digital animation almost promotes it, if only to uh, meet uh, less realistic deadlines. Heimbutch and Zajac shared the same feelings toward the trend, wishing to keep traditional alongside digital animation, rather than simply leaving it behind. The numbers prove that it is a sensible business practice, however, and the viewing public have come to embrace these movies as well. It will take a couple more years until we see what will happen to traditional animation. As of now, it is obvious that the industry is beginning to turn away from it and focusing on digital animation. Bass of the Blue has faced many complications, but they have persevered and are set to release next year. Examples of their work can be found on their Tumblr page. Digital animation is difficult to produce, although it is the right direction for them if they want to prepare for the animation industry.